Welcome to Vegetarian Kitchen. Today I have a couple of dishes, you might say are uh, like main dishes, entrees, that um, have two things in common. One, they're both filled with rice, seasoned and um, seasoned rice. And the other is that they're filled, baked and with a sauce, okay? Other than that, they're very different, they come from different ends of the earth, and um, anyway, I decided to put them both in this one show because they have kind of a main theme that's similar. The sauces are completely different, but I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. First of all is I'm gonna make stuffed cabbage, what we used to call, um, our Eastern European relatives used to call galumpki. Okay, and um, this is uh, something that was normally we had, it was made with meat. I'm gonna do it with rice and um, walnuts and some peas and dill and cook that in a tomato sauce, a sweet and sour tomato sauce with raisins. Very good. So, first step is I have my head of green cabbage. The reason I picked this one is that it has pretty good size outer leaves okay some of the heads are are more round a little bit smaller but this one has a nice wide top so I'm hoping to get some good leaves from this the first thing that I do is I take this and I put it into boiling water all right put it into a pan of boiling water top side down and I'll let that steam a while while that's cooking, what that does is you put it in the water that softens the leaves, it makes the leaves more flexible so that you can uh, roll them up and fill them with the filling, okay? So you need to do that, let it cook for a little while. What I want to do is uh, move some of the stuff around, move this pan over, let it cook over there where I don't need it. So now with this pan I want to make the sauce. What I use is tomato paste for the base of the sauce, okay? That's this, this is about the amount of tomato paste that you'd find in one of those little cans you get in the stores, okay? I get a little bit of onion, raisins. This is molasses, a couple of tablespoons of molasses. Can you see the molasses? There we are. You know what molasses is, I'll need to show you that. And a little bit of uh, apple cider vinegar. Okay, and I have some stock here. I'll start out a little bit of stock in my pan. I take tomato paste. This is really simple. Essentially what I do is I just assemble the ingredients and let it cook. Um, one of the things that uh, Eastern European, Northern European cooking is noted in some ways for its simplicity I take maybe two tablespoons of raisins, okay? And then maybe about a quarter of an onion, okay? Chopped up. A little pinch of salt, okay? A couple of tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And I'll sweeten it up with my molasses. All right, now what I want to do is just let this cook down and reduce a little bit and thicken up. Okay, and I'll add the rest of this tomato paste. Let that cook. And this is it. It's very simple. It's simple, but it's, um, well, to me, as I grew up eating this, it's very um, comforting, you know. Feels like home. A little bit, a little more stock. Let this come to a boil. Now, what I'm going to do to make the filling? See, normally um, when we had dinner and we had the stuffed cabbage rolls, they were filled with a mixture of rice and ground beef, raisins. What I'm going to do is take rice, walnuts, green peas, and make a filling out of that, and then we'll bake these. Okay. Let's see how this cabbage is done. 
if I can pull this out of here. Okay, now. Ah, good. Whew. It's hot. See, this just pops right off. The outer leaves, they just pop right off. You can see, if you look closely, hopefully the color on your television is good, but you can see how the, the color of these cabbage leaves has changed just a little bit. Now this, I can get one more from here. Okay, I'll put this back in the water. All right, now, what I'm going to do to fill these is when I get back over to the to my work table, I'll take a knife and I'll cut this main rib out of here. Okay, this is still um, tough and it's, you know, no matter how long we cook it, this is still going to be a little bit tough. So I'm going to cut this out and make a little package, like a little envelope out of this. And I'll roll this up with the filling in it and then uh, bake this. And this should bake maybe 45 minutes or an hour or so. Okay? So what I want to do is uh, let this sauce cook just a little bit, okay? And while that's cooking, um, I'll prepare the filling and then we'll fill these leaves and we'll assemble them in the baking dish, pour the sauce over them, and we'll bake it maybe, like I said, you know, 45 minutes or so and we'll see how it comes out, okay? So give me a second and I'll switch around and I'll prepare my work area and we'll make the filling and we'll fill some galumpkies. All right, now I have my cabbage leaves blanched, softened up, ready for filling. So what I need to do is make something to put into them. So, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some rice. three cups of cooked rice okay to that rice I'm going to add some fresh dill this is the flavor of Eastern Europe right here fresh dill this is what we had a lot of this when I was a kid oh yeah okay chop some of that up refreshing smell mix that in with my rice okay I take some walnuts, half a cup of walnuts, some peas, mix them right in there. You know what else I'm going to mix in? Uh, if I can find it, I have a little bit of salt. Where's my salt? Here we are. Okay, a little salt. <laughs> All right, now. Okay, that's made. And what I want to do, see how easy these things are. I mean, what I want to do is take this. Okay, I have cabbage leaves. See how soft they are, pliable. I can work with these. What I want to do is take this center vein right here and cut it out, okay? So I lay it on the table. Just Cut it out, it's pretty simple. Okay. This one is a small leaf. I'm not sure what kind of cabbage rule I'll get. So what I end up with is this. I have this V-shaped hair, but that's okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Trust me. Okay, so I take a little bit of my rice filling. All right, fold in the sides, and then I just roll it up. Okay, make a little package, nice little pillow. All right, 